even odd functions. And I'm not talking about necessarily two and one, but here's what we're gonna find out. A function is considered to be even if for each x in the domain, if I make the plug in a negative x, I get the exact same answer. Meaning this, as an example, if f of x equals x squared, right? Just saying, I'm picking a problem. If it's x squared and I put a negative x in for x, what's negative x times negative x? x squared. This would be an even function. Think about it. Because even though x is negative, I got the same answer as if for y as if it was positive. Usually it's going to happen when you have even number exponents because that's about the only way it can happen because you end up with a negative times a negative makes it back to positive. So an odd function does this, is if you put make the value negative, it makes the whole thing negative. An example of this would be x cubed. Look, I start with this right here. There's my original function. If I change it to a negative x in here, that's what it's saying, just changing a negative x in there, then I'm gonna take negative x and cube it. Well, what's that? Well, that's negative x times negative x times negative x, which gives me a negative answer. So therefore, if I took a positive function, put a negative x value in, and I get the same number, but it's now negative, it is considered to be odd. Those are the definitions for the even and odd functions. So, here's what's true about trig with even and odd. Sine of negative t is going to make the whole thing negative, all right? And when we graph these, you'll start to see why a little more when you look at a sine graph. And it's considered to be odd. Cosine t is even. That's all you know right now is that they are even. Tangent t, well, think about it. Uh, well, it's going to be odd. For right now, for what you know, just you need to know that particular part. So what do you think is gonna be happening over here? These are reciprocals. So if this is odd, what do you think that one's gonna be? Odd. What do you think this one's gonna be? Even. And that one's odd. And if you look at their graphs of those functions, you can see obviously why they are the same. Because everywhere y is positive going on the positive direction, it's negative when you go the negative direction. Make it a nice little wave there. And cosine, it doesn't matter. The same distance you are from zero, the value is exactly the same. That's why it's even. Okay.